Beautiful people, hello and welcome to day 11 of Birthing into the Light Body. I'm Tara Love Perry and we're doing a journey from your spirit, from the great spirit, the all that you are, creation, down for a soul journey into your body, landing on this earth, birthing yourself, whole and intact, and then allowing that divine child, that innocence of you, to grow up. And today we are in the solar plexus center, which is right in the gut, right in the top of the, the belly, where all your digestion takes place. And this is your center of personal power. So yesterday I was talking about the womb and the child and the, and the chaos of the child and that, you know, needing, needing nurtured and having needs that need to be met. And when a child has all of her needs met, or his needs met, that child is intact. That, that child can remain intact with their essence of who they are in their, in their, in their soul, in their, in their spirit, who they were created to be. And when a child does not have all of those needs met unconditionally, they become fractured, they become damaged, they become torn. And we all know that from our own childhood. We know that nothing is perfect. We know that we come into this world and conditions aren't perfect. And that gives us something to push against. That gives us something to, you know, be shaped by and be moved by. And we uniquely grow and adapt to that. And yet you can also stay in touch with your divine essence, the higher sense of yourself or the inner sense of yourself, the real truth, the real integrity. And so meeting those needs, if you're an adult and your needs weren't met as a child, then chances are life is gonna level you, the ground is gonna shake, urging you to come back down and reconnect with those parts that have not been met yet. Or maybe you're just completely disconnected and you just won't go there, can't go there, or feel like you've done with it and you just don't want to go back there and that's fair enough. And maybe you've hardened a little bit, maybe you've toughened up to the world, maybe you've blocked certain things out so that you can deal with it, just so that you can get on and have a happy life and look forward and go forward. And yesterday I was really inviting you to check in with yourself and, and really ask yourself honestly what you truly, deeply need so that you can feel whole, so that you can feel complete. And today, talking about the empowerment center, so that you can empower that which you really are, who you really are, without having to wear false power. Or for many people, I mean, we see this everywhere, how many of us give our power away, whether it's to the authorities, the police, the government, whether we give our power away to hospitals to care for our health, uh, to teachers, to churches. There's so many different opportunities or excuses as well to, to disempower ourselves and say, well, I can't. It's not up to me. This person has more power than me. The government has more power than me. The Illuminati has more power than me. You know, the church has more power. Whatever it is, or God has power over me and you know, whatever your personal story is, I'm not really going to go into detail because you know your story. When you check in and ask, are you feeling empowered in your truth from that child that has all your needs met so that you can really come out of the womb, come out of childhood, emerge out into the world from mother nature, from the womb, from the mother, leaving the mother, being able to step out with a sure foundation, confidence, strong, knowing who you are, just being who you are, and retaining your own, you know, being allowed, retaining your sense of, I am and I'm allowed and I'm now gonna empower who I am. Because that's possible, that's how we're designed, that's our default, if you like, and everything else is just like chucking rocks in the river, and it stops that flow from happening. And that flow of power can become like a trickle and many people feel disempowered and you know there's so many stories and dramas about that and it's really we're still being in that child that needs our needs met that's really what's happening we're either acknowledging that honestly or we're denying it and there's many different ways of denying it and, uh, and, and keeping it hidden 
and pretending we've got everything in control and everything's sorted and we're grown up and we don't need that anymore. Maybe we don't need anybody. So just check in with yourself about that. Are you really empowered? From a real place, from deep inside of you that's not shakeable, that's not stealable, that cannot be removed from you or overpowered by somebody else just because it's yours and it's true and it is. And also because we're coming from this body from the divine feminine it's also very relevant to mothers and women about actually allowing that give back so we've been creating gestating you know doing our creative thing whether it's with the home or whether it's with the child and at some point we know we have to let go it's giving back up to the masculine giving back up to the Father, to the Great Father, to Spirit. Saying, here, I've created this child. And now, in getting your own needs met, and meeting the needs of that child, so that there's that stability, and then giving that child back to the world. And there's that giving up of the Divine Feminine. And maybe for us to give up our own stories, and give up our own poor me, and give up our own dramas, and just give up, and release and let go and let God and maybe God isn't a word that you like to use that's fine divine be all that is creation give up and let go to the Creator and there's a certain amount of that needs to happen and then we can move from our personal power where there's a lot of knots trust me and people's guts can get very knotted very tense very tight because we're struggling to be empowered <sighs> Give it up, give up the struggle, give up the fight for power, surrender and allow and give that power then the power can come back up to the heart chakra where there's a, another center connected to the heart that I call the divine will. So not your personal will but divine will can move up, blend in with the heart energy and you can just feel the empowerment of life, the empowerment of truth, the empowerment of creation through your heart center feeling aligned and empowered with love and that is a really great place to be and of course you know we can move in and out of these states one minute you can feel really super on top of it and other times completely crushed and that's okay because we're human beings we move we have seasons we have changes and tides and that's okay but let's not abandon ourselves let's not give ourselves away on a platter to the others out there them they and let us do what they will with our bodies as if we don't matter, as if we're not powerful. Because you are, you're a divine being, you have that power of divinity within you, you have the power of truth and love, absolute unconditional love within you. And you have the divine will, what creation wants for you, and what ultimately your seed of creation is here to become and to bloom and empower in the world. So feel into that, have faith in that, see what you can feel and really question yourself about your own self-empowerment and see what you need so that you can be empowered and maybe what you have to give up so that you can be empowered truly deeply and so from this beautiful sunny day in a church blessings and I'll speak to you tomorrow and coming back into the heart center so I'm looking forward to talking to you about that have a look on my website I'm running a course. Hello. <laughs> I'm running a course called Birthing into the Light Body. It's actually a weekend workshop. It travels around. And uh, the next one is going to be in Dubai at the end of August. So you can check my website for details on that. And I also have a um, nine month training in soul reading, channeling, energy healing, and all things in a sense and psychic and whatever your gifts are, giving you a platform, sharing with you some tools and techniques so that you can tap in, tune in deeper and use your, use your extra senses, use your other abilities that maybe are latent still or wanting to awaken in you. So check my website, it's www.taraloveperry.com taraloveperry.com So I look forward to hearing from you, so much love and see you tomorrow.